फिर वह वैसे ही मैथ क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स गो द इन्फॉर्मेशन एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल से एक्स स्क्वायर पॉजिटिव फोर एक्स पॉजिटिव सी इन द गिवन क्वारिटिक फंक्शन ए एंड सी और कॉन्सेंस अ ग्राफ ऑफ वाई इक्वल से एफ ऑफ एक्स इन द एक्स वाई प्लेन इज अ पैराबोला दैट ओपन्स अप एंड एज अ वर्ड एक्स एट द पॉइंट एच कॉम ऑफ के वेयर एच एंड के और कॉन्सेंस इफ के इज लेस देन 0 एंड एफ ऑफ नेगेटिव 9 इक्वल से एफ ऑफ 3 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मस्ट बी ट्रू ओके सो हियर वी हैव अ क्वाड्रेटिक फंक्शन वी नो दैट इफ इज केस अ ग्राफ ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक फंक्शन ऑन एक्स वाई प्लेन इट विल बी अ पैराबोला and also the information that the parabola opens up since the parabola opens up the leading coefficient of the quadratic function has to be positive so the leading coefficient is nothing but the coefficient of x square that is a in this case so a has to be positive that is a has to be greater than 0 uh, so and also uh, the uh, y coordinate of the vertex because uh, h comma k the point h comma k refers to the vertex of the parabola so in that uh, k is the y coordinate that y coordinate is negative so y coordinate is negative means uh, let me draw a rough sketch over here x axis y axis uh, since the y coordinate is negative it has to be somewhere else over uh, below the x axis because the y coordinate of the vertex is uh, less than 0 and also since uh, the parabola opens up uh, it has to be something like this okay so the parabola must look like uh, uh, must look like what i have drawn over here it opens up and also the y coordinate of the vertex over here is uh, some negative value over here okay now uh, so what we need to do here is uh, we have to check whether uh, the two statements over here so whether statement 1 is correct or 2 is correct or both of them uh, are correct or both of them are uh, false so how do you have to check this okay so for that what i am going to do is i consider uh, this particular uh, piece of information that is f of negative 9 equals to f of 3 so according to the information uh, y equals to f of x that is f of x is a value of y so this is a value of y when x is equal to negative 9 and this is the value of y when x is equal to 3 so that is uh, the value uh, the value of y we get when x is equal to negative 9 and x is equal to 3 are same okay so now let me sketch over here uh, so x is equal to 9 means it's a vertical line okay let me draw that vertical line uh, vertical line x is equal to negative 9 over here x is equal to 3 also is a vertical line so is x is equal to 3 okay so the y value we get uh, when x is equal to negative 9 and x is equal to uh, 3 uh, are same according to the information we have here we have over here so these two uh, vertical lines x is equal to negative 9 and x is equal to 3 or uh, these two values of x must be at the same distance uh, of the axis of symmetry of the parabola probably over here say this is the axis of uh, symmetry let me write it over here Since we get the same value of y for x is equal to negative nine and x is equal to three, uh, so these two values of x, x is equal to negative nine and x is equal to three, must be at the same distance uh, of axis of symmetry. Okay, so I already we know that uh, so always the vertex of the parabola will be on the axis of symmetry. It's over here, h comma k. Uh, okay, since uh, these two values, uh, x is equal to negative nine and x is equal to three, are at the same distance uh, uh, from the axis of symmetry. Uh, so, if I find the average of these two values of x, negative nine and three, uh, that will be the x coordinate of the vertex of the parabola. Okay, so now uh, let me find the x coordinate of the vertex. That is, h is equal to uh, to get the x coordinate of the vertex. I just have to find uh, the average of these two values because for these two values of x, we get the same value of y according to the information we have over here. So negative nine uh, positive three over two. So h is equal to so negative nine positive three is uh, negative six over two. So when I simplify this one, I'm getting negative three. So the average of these two x values is, uh, is uh, negative three. That's uh, nothing but the uh, x coordinate of the vertex. So we can write the vertex h comma k as uh, negative three comma k. So please remember uh, k is uh, less than zero. And also, already, already we know that a is greater than zero because the parabola opens up. Uh, then the leading coefficient a has to be uh positive okay let me here is uh, some stuff okay now let me consider the quadratic given quadratic function that is f of x equals to uh a x square positive 4x uh, positive c okay now it is in the form of uh, the standard form that is a uh, x square positive bx positive c so comparing this and this i'm getting uh, a equals to a b is equal to 4 and c is equal to c Okay, so if I want to find uh, the vertex of a quadratic function, uh, which is in the form of uh, that is f of x equals to x squared plus b x plus c, I know I have a formula to find the x corner the x corner of the vertex that is x is equal to negative b over two a. Okay, so x is equal to uh, so instead of b, what do we have in our quadratic function? That is four. Uh, 
So we can plug in four for B and two times for A, what do we have? So for A, we have A only, so we can write uh, A. So now I got the exponent of the given quadratic function that is uh, negative four over two A, but I already got the exponent of the vertex by finding the average values of this negative nine and three, then I got negative three. So then they already know that the exponent of the vertex is negative three. So using the formula x is equal to negative b over two a, I got the exponent of the vertex negative four over two a. So I can equate this negative four over two a and uh, this negative three. So how can I equate these two values? Because both of them refers to uh, the exponent of the vertex. Okay, so in this equation, I can solve for a. So two goes into two one times, two goes into four twice. I'm getting negative two over uh, a equals to negative three. Okay, this negative negative can be canceled. And now I can take reciprocal on both sides. When I take reciprocal for this one, I'm getting a over two. When I take reciprocal for this one, I'm getting one over three. So now to solve for a, I have to multiply both sides by two. When I multiply both sides by two, this two, two will cancel. I'm getting a is equal to one over three times three times two will become two over three. So clearly this is a value less than one because if I simplify this value, I'm getting 0 0.6 something. Okay, so since the value of a is less than one, we can reject uh, the first statement because the first statement says uh, uh, a is uh, greater than or equal to one. That's not true because in our calculation, uh, using the given information, we get a is equal to two or three. So which is a value less than one. So the first statement is not true. So now we have to verify whether the second statement that is c is less than zero is true or false. Okay, let me erase uh, the, some, stuff, some stuff over here. Okay, now we have the vertex uh, h comma k is equal to 83 comma k and uh, a is equal to two third. Okay, now uh, so in the given quadratic function uh, f of x equals to x square positive four x positive c, uh, we can replace this f of x by y because the information says y is equal to f of x. Since y equals to f of x, we can uh, plug in y for this f of x. Then uh, for a, we know the value two over three, so two over three times uh, x square uh, positive four x positive c. So we know that the parabola opens up and the vertex is uh, negative three comma k. Okay, since uh, we have the vertex negative three comma k and the parabola, so we can plug in this point negative three comma k into this uh, quadratic function over here. That is, we have to plug in negative three for x one and negative three for x and y one at k for y. So let me plug in k for uh, y and two over three times uh, for x, we have to plug in negative three, the whole square positive four times uh, negative three. Uh, positive c, so k is equal to two over three. So when I evaluate negative three, the whole side will become nine. Positive times negative will become uh, negative 12, positive c. So three goes into three one times, three goes into nine uh, thrice. So k equals to two times uh, three is uh, six, so negative 12, positive c. Then I'm getting k is equal to, so combining this uh, six and negative 12, I'm getting negative six, uh, positive c. Okay, I got the value of k in terms of c. I already know that uh, k is less than zero. So k is less than zero. If k is less than zero, then the value which is equal to k also uh, must be less than zero. That is the value of uh, negative six, positive c. Uh, must be less than zero. Okay, now let's solve for C in this inequality. So for that, I have to add uh, six to both sides. When I do so, this negative six positive six are canceled. I'm getting C uh, less than, when I combine these two values, uh, zero positive six, I'm just getting six. Uh, so C has to be less than six. So C has to be less than six. Uh, will this one uh, make the second statement true or false? If C is less than six, uh, so what type of value can we have for C, uh, whether we can have a positive value or negative value? So we can have both positive value and negative value for C. For example, if I take C is equal to two or three or any positive value from zero to six, uh, it will uh, satisfy this inequality because when it takes C is equal to two, it satisfies this inequality because two is less than six. If I take C is equal to three, so that is also less than six, we can accept it. So what if, if I take C is equal to zero? So this is also true because uh, zero is less than six. In case, uh, what if I take a negative value for C, for example, negative two. So ne if I take C is equal to negative two, so negative two is less than six, this is also true. So for this inequality, C less than six, we get both positive value and negative value for C. But uh, statement two says uh, C has to be less than zero. That means it, uh, C, the value of C has to be negative. So we cannot say confidently uh, that C uh, will take only negative values because according to the result, what we got uh, using the information around the question. So we get C is less than six. That means uh, uh, C can take either positive value or negative value. We cannot say confidently that C will take only negative value. So we can reject the statement two also. So that is statement two is false. Already we have uh, proved that the statement one is false. So both the statements are false. The correct answer choice for this question is option D.